This is Penetration. Here is the star of Penetration, Alex Green. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in to this edition of Penetration. And boy, do we have a treat for you. My name is Alex Green. I'm the professor of Penetration. I'm the president of the Penetration Nation. And in case you're wondering, I love to penetrate. I love to penetrate. And boy, do we have some satisfying penetration lined up for you today. Let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant is Mr. 9mm. Say hello to Mr. Mossberg. He's a 20 gauge. Also make welcome to penetration, Mr. M4. In all seriousness, got this piece of chain link fence up today. We're going to shoot through it just to see what happens if you ever did have to fire through a chain link fence. Now, I'm not aiming to hit the fence. I'm going to be aiming to hit the, the two liters and the jugs I'm going to have attached to the poles just to see what happens. So you may be on the other side of a fence. You can't get to a person. You may have an injury to where you like, maybe you're knocked down. Maybe you've been shot yourself and there's a crime or a, something going on on the other side of the fence and you just got to pull your weapon out and, you know, Pray to God that you hit your target and the round doesn't ricochet or you're able to hit the person at least committing the crime to stop the crime in action. So sit back, enjoy, let's penetrate together and stick around. You never know when a double penetration might pop up. We're going to start this penetration episode off with the 9mm. I've got two 2 liter bottles put up at the end of the range here behind this fence. Just going to fire some rounds out see what happens. I'm going to be aiming at the bottles to see if I can hit them. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm hitting all around it, but I'm not making, I'm gonna go check the fence out. Some very interesting results. I'm gonna fire what's left in my magazine here. I'm gonna go down there and show you. Incredible. There we go. There we go. Right there is one. There's two. There's three. And there's four, four different places, and you can all see they're in line with this, four different places where rounds hit the fence. I took a different angle, and I was able to hit the pop bottles, but that's incredible. I mean, you can clearly see the, I'll put some steel images in there of the, of what you're looking at here, but two, three, and four. I'm impressed. I never would have thought that. Twenty gauge. I've got number eight shot in it because there's a wider pattern. I'm going to aim for the green bottle first, and I'm going to move up to the darker colored bottle and see what happens. I'm the same distance away as I was with the nine millimeter, pro probably about 15 yards or so. Let's do it. All right, let's do the top bottle.
Let's go look at the fence and see what happened. Some very interesting results here. There's the first bottle that I shot, and you can tell the cameras. Let me see if I can focus it just a little bit better here, guys. All right, all these little spacklings right here is some, and there's some on top and all that. That is pellets. Only a few pellets hit this thing. Same thing on top. You get a little bit better shot of it on top there. You can tell my post I hit. But there's one, and there's only just a very couple little holes in this one. The buck shot, or the, the number eight shot hit it, but it did not de demolish this bottle like we've seen in the past. And the fence, let me move around here and show you guys the fence. I colored in, like with the black marker, where the nine millimeter rounds are hit. I really don't see too many markings on the fence that wasn't there before. So it's clear that the fence does have an effect. I'm very surprised at this. I really am. Let's see what the M4 can do. I'm going to aim at the top bottle I shot earlier. It's still got a lot of soda left in it. There's no point in changing it. I just want to see what happens. Take a few shots. Let's do it. Well, I apparently had no effect with the M4. I hope to God that come up on camera good. So the M4, I mean, results speak for themselves. I can't get over the nine millimeter hitting the fence and the shotgun doing what it did. So let's try another angle. We're going to try at an angle now, probably, I don't know, about 20 yards away. We're going to be shooting through the fence at this angle, and we're going to be aiming at this jug of water. So it's on this pole. We're shooting through a fence at a pretty sharp angle. If the fence is below us, but I do, or above us, I'm sorry. I'm kind of below the fence here, but I don't think that'll be too big of an issue. Excuse me, I'm walking with the camera instead of on a tripod. But that's what we're going to be doing for this next round here. I've kind of knelt down to get a better angle for the camera. I'm going to be shooting 
at the water jug over on that pole through this fence. I got my GoPros running. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pop a few rounds off. Try it out. I can see the fence moving. So I'm hitting the fence. I have to be. I saw a spark on that one. I saw a spark on that one. All right. All those rounds. Not one single hit from this angle. And I saw the fence moving. I know I was dead on it. Let's go look at the fence and see what happened. There's the water jug, as you can see. Not a single mark on it. And let's look at the fence. I've counted one, two, three, four, at least four. The po I hit the post five. At least five different times at the fence here. I had to, had to put this post in there so the fence would stay up. But still, when you deal with fences, you're going to have posts anyway. So at least one, two, three, four, five. Five different places where I hit at least. And I did not get the first anything on the two liter. All right. We'll save that and try the 12 gauge and see what happens with the 12 gauge i said 12 i meant 20. i'm going to try the number eight shot through the fence at this angle see what happens god <clears throat> all five shots nothing hit the bottle let's go check it out the fence did catch one of the waddings lodged in there pretty good there's that there is spackling all up and down the fence of the buck shot or i'm sorry of the number eight shot is what i was using was number eight shot and i did hit the jug there's one little pinhole couple little up top you can see I hit that and some spackling but nothing went through and I was you know not too far away from it so you can see a few little things there but overall the fence I think there might be one small little pinhole at the bottom too for the most part hardly out of six rounds from that number eight shot nothing made it through I'm impressed. Oh. Let's try the M4 from this distance and this angle, see what happens. All right, the M4 took care of business. All right, fans of penetration, you know what that sound means. It's time for the beloved double penetration. Let's use the M4 and the 9mm and get our double penetration action going on. Let's do it.
Sometimes double penetration is a little bit too much to handle for some people. Just like our bottle of ranch dressing, we double penetrated that baby. That's all she wrote. All right, Penetration Nation, it's time for the round of final penetration, and what did we learn? Very surprising results from this fence test. I didn't think the angle shot would have such a big effect on the 9mm and the shotgun, the number 8 shot out of the 20 gauge. I really thought the number 8 shot would do more to the jug than what it did, but you saw just a few little pinholes and a few of the BBs actually made contact with the actual jug. The M4 didn't have an issue. So my takeaway is if you have an optic on your weapon and the smaller the round, the better chances you are at an angle. Of course, that's physics. You know, the, the smaller something is going through like a fence like this, or whatever, the least chance you have of actually hitting the object you're shooting through. But still, I don't think it's a good idea to shoot through a fence like this. In a life or death situation, you're going to do what you're going to do, but just shooting through a fence just to be doing it, I don't think is very wise. So that's my take on it. Do with it what you will. But until next time, you guys and girls keep penetrating.